Hey everybody, uh, you two, you are tuned in. You are tuned in to the Free Matt podcast. I'm the one and only Matt Free Matt. Uh, the if you didn't already know, the Free Matt podcast is a libertarian style roundtable discussion. Usually have an article, which actually do have one today. There we go. See. I'm only bilateral dysfunction so much. It actually has a libertarian slant today instead of uh, me railing about some social type stuff. But um, this uh, it was specifically about Mike Tyson and psychedelics. Um, I am having to kind of pick and choose off here. The this was off not Yahoo News, not one of my favorite what, uh, news sites, but. I like the way it was written, and it was, I think, from Reuters, so I'll leave a link way down below. Um, it had mentioned about Mike Tyson saying psychedelics saved his life. And it was a tiny, tiny little blurb of a, uh, of a news piece, but it was something that I wanted people to... All right, your government for the longest time has said that psychedelics were bad and wrong. I think that it had something to do with counterculture and the fact that they didn't want our they didn't want our medical establishment to look into usefulness and what it actually does to people. When LSD was actually a research level chemical, our government really hated the fact that the researchers were ethically disinclined, if I could say that. Now, you know, of course the article says uh, psilocybin is increasingly being taken seriously as a psychiatric medicine, although medical professionals studying them warn against self-medicating to avoid unwanted side effects like disturbing hallucinations, anxiety, and panic. Um, I have dug around, listened to some of the things that Mike Tyson had talked about in his life uh, and his experiences with it. Um, it's weird because I don't exactly encourage people to just start taking these substances. I do want people to look into therapy and discovering more about themselves. I don't, it's... Yeah, as I move around a little bit, I, I wish people would get help first, but a lot of the things he had said about l certain, breaking certain, I guess, it's not even behaviors, but another psychological, I almost call it like chains, and people would ask me why I, I brought it up. I I have reason to believe that there are people with certain conditions that I don't think it would be a good idea. But there are people that there's certain these like they're negative bonds and it could break down some of these negative bonds and let people grow uh, like nerves and synapses, oh, stuff like that too. Uh, I think it's more than just jamming things in your mouth and seeing if you trip. I think that this stuff could even for very religious people, and as much as I think we've been brainwashed to think that it, it's wrong, it's not. I, I honestly think that God gave us a lot of these naturally occurring sub substances, and I think part of us, and this this comes from the you know pagan world, the the pre uh, Roman conquest, um, the, you know the Greater Roman Empire of, of you know in Europe, is that we had an understanding of, of the earth, we had an understanding of uh, spirituality, and not only this, I think there were, you know, togetherness, and there's bonding, and there's way to be one, and I think we missed that, and I think this stuff naturally occurring is that is that link. Now, I can't exactly speak for people that aren't I guess from pagan Europe, but I think that Christians too 
I speak for Christians, I think Christians too, this is something that we've been lied to about in that with proper guidance and it's proper guidance and, uh, you know, medical background, I think in like a guide, you know, a guide, like we were guided through this stuff, not even taking it. I meant like beforehand and, and, and meditation, mindfulness and things like that. And you learn this and, you know, learning trust and, and bonds and things like that. I, I think Mike Tyson was onto something, and I think there's plenty of regular, non-famous Hollywood-type people, I call them, you know, square, everyday people, that their greatest, I want to say their greatest uh, capabilities and their like these barriers that can be crushed by this. This That's what I was getting at. And I wish they would legalize it. And people ask me, well, like, well, you know, well, it's crazy. People are going to jump off of buildings. And I said, no, it's not reefer madness. People lied about that. I I think that, you know, like with, with guidance and with not just, uh, as much as I hate the idea of government licensing, but organizations, and these are nonprofit organizations, where people know and they they do best practices. If industries worked outside of the government, there'd be no reason why a, a an institute like the one in Virginia that's the Edgar Casey types uh, stuff, but having your own and in, in like being the be all and end all and reaching and helping people and i think that that's what this stuff could do it's more than just tripping balls and acting nuts and then you know, act like an asshole and not working it's there's more more to it than that and i think i think like veterans we're coming up on memorial day i think veterans that's a big one and i'm i'm really hoping that ptsd research and you know we're helping these people grow. We're, I mean, I want to boot camp these guys back into life. And I don't mean torture and yelling. I meant like, like from a spiritual element and breaking those bonds and letting them free. And people laugh because I'm not much of a counselor, but I think Mike Tyson was on to something. And he talked about doing, he talked about mushrooms before and he talked about doing toad, um, DMT. And it's, it's, now that we're taking the research serious, I think we're making inroads. And I think we should thank somebody like Mike Tyson for being open about it. Uh, thank you, Mike. And guys, if you like this video, please hit uh, the thumbs up. It should be over there. There you go. Let me see. Uh, there should be uh, subscribe notifications. That's the bell. Hit the bing, ding, ding. Uh, way below, Twitter, Gab, Parlay, even though they suck. Try it anyway. Oh, Lord. Do, 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 do. Um, should have my hate email down below. If you didn't like what you see or you had another idea or if you wanted to um, uh, have a debate and say, hey, I think you're wrong. You need to check out this. Hey, guys, if you give me some good proof, I'll actually uh, bring it up and say, yeah, I screwed up and this person had a great idea or might, might even just bring it up and say, hey, you brought something good up and props on you. And uh, I do believe in giving credit where credit's due, even people I don't like and people I don't agree with. And uh, there's people I don't agree with I like. A lot of people don't know that, but uh, you can disagree with me and I'm still going to uh, invite you in for some water, uh, Lord willing, but... Anyway, folks, please um, have a nice day. Please take care of yourselves. And uh, if you ever get a chance to uh, talk to your public officials, tell them to legalize psychedelics. Thanks again.